I know you're a vegetarian, and uh, someone has asked if you have a favorite vegetarian dish. <laughs> not really, just vegetables, not too messed up. But I should add to that, you know, the reason I became a vegetarian was because of the horrendous suffering in the factory farms, the abattoirs. Um, but then from the, from the environmental point of view, there are now billions of animals being raised as more and more people eat more and more meat as nations get wealthier. And that means huge areas of forest cut down to grow grain, um, graze cattle, goats and so forth. Huge waste of water, changing vegetable to uh, animal protein. And then, um, you know, food goes in one end and gas comes out the other, and that's methane gas, mm -hmm. which is more potent than CO2 as a greenhouse gas. Right. And finally, if people don't care about the environment and they don't care about animal suffering, what about the fact that to keep these poor creatures alive, they have to be fed antibiotics regularly, and those have got out into the environment and the bacteria have become resistant. Now I know you get a lot of support in Canada. You have, it's, it's one of your, your larger centers globally. How do you think Canada is doing in conservation? Well, Canada, I'm, I'm afraid that Canada, like other countries, the conservation record kind of comes up and down depending um, who the prime minister is. And it's the same in the UK, it's the same in Australia. And I'm, you know, it's not my business to talk about Canadian politics. I know bad things are going on, but they're going on all over the world. And it's because, you know, we've got tied into this, this materialistic rat race, really. So a country, you have to have economic growth. And it, it's absurd to think we can have unending economic growth on a planet planet with finite resources and to be blunt too many human beings on it. <laughs>